right i'm going to start with the package types in package types you can configure what attributes are displayed in transmittal documents tab and what project wise attributes are used as a source when adding documents into into the transmittal package from any of the on premise repositories the attributes listed in the attribute column determine the name and order of the attribute columns you see on the documents tab when you create a new transmitter you cannot change the attribute columns of an existing transmitter but you can make changes to the attribute list here i mean you can add remove rename reorder and the changes will be seen on the documents tab in the next new transmitter created from this project basically the attribute column contains a complete list of attributes and it is where you can configure and display configure the display name and order of the attribute columns the project wise design integration column contains the corresponding project wise attributes for each attribute if there is no corresponding project wise attribute then na that is not applicable is displayed as you can see on the second column if this project is not associated to any of the work area in project wise the entire column will show na the next column file system column contains the corresponding file system attributes for each attribute in the attribute column if there is no corresponding file system attribute not applicable is displayed the required column in the transmittal attribute list shows which document attributes will be required that is that means they must have a they must have some value to them and which document attributes will be optional when the attribute is marked as required it means that a transmittal cannot be issued until every document in the transmittal has a value entered for that particular attribute a required attribute will have an asterisk next to the attribute in the transmittal indicating that it is a required field there is an option for enhanced response visibility for external organization at the bottom as you can see so what does this setting do this enhanced response visibility for external organization setting lets you control whether or not one or external organization can see the responses of the other external organizations when a transmittal has been sent to multiple external organization this setting is off by default when this setting is off and a transmittal is sent to multiple external organizations only the transmittal author or issuer can see the responses from the external organization similarly when this setting is on and a transmittal is sent to multiple external organizations then each external organization who receives the submittal can now also see the responses from other external organizations moving to the next dm setting that is purposes now each transmittal which you create requires that you assign a purpose to the transmittal the purpose controls basically which rely actions are turned on or off by default for each participant that is manually added as a recipient to the transmittal tab it also controls which response options the recipient can choose from if they are required to respond it controls whether or not the confidential setting is turned on or off by default in the transmittal it also controls which related distribution rules you can apply to the transmittal if distribution rules are set or configured for the project each project contains a set of default purposes as you can see on the screen you can edit the name or setting for any of the default purposes add new purpose change the order in which they appear in the transmittal draft dialog or delete any purpose which you do not need moving to the next dm setting that is cover letters basically a cover letter is a pdf that is automatically generated and sent out with each transmittal issued from the project pwdm delivers one default cover letter template which is automatically set as a default cover letter template the delivered template is a microsoft excel spreadsheet that contains various variables that will be replaced with the real value real attribute values that could be uh, the project the transmittal and the document it contains when the cover letter is generated upon issuing the transmittal you can use the delivered template as it is modify it or upload the one of your own if you have more than one cover letter template you can select which one you want to be set as a default 
you can include the variables such as transmitter variables, document variables, document attribute variables, reference document variables, transmitter recipient variables, folder variables, work area property variables, and repeater variables in your transmitter cover letter template. When the cover letter PDF is generated upon issuing the transmitter, the variables will be replaced with the real values as mentioned before. Now let me elaborate further on cover letter customization via a short video over here. Okay, basically I have created a new package type attribute over here in my demo project whose attribute display name is vendor name. Now I have defined some predefined values for this vendor name attribute as example eagle infrastructure i have accepted the values and clicked on save so before taking any attributes to the cover letter you have to predefine in, in the package types now going into the cover letter i am going to download the default cover letter delivered here i have downloaded it opened it via microsoft excel enable the editing for this default cover letter template and set is page layout type as a cover, cover letter. As you can see in the transmitter cover letter template, you can define the company logo there in the left corner. You can also change the transmitter cover letter name. You can add the variables like project name, project number, transmitter ID, subject. You can also add the variables like sender's company name, sender's issue name, issuer name, email address, etc. You can also define the variables for recipients, documents, and references. As I'm going to add this vendor name as a document attribute, I'm going to define the variable in the document section for this particular document attribute. I'm going to remove the existing file path attribute and I'm going to add vendor name as an attribute display name there. Now the syntax for vendor name attribute value is dollar document dot attribute dot get value and the name of the attribute that is vendor name in my case i'm going to copy the attribute from description column and paste it in the vendor name cell the rest of the syntax remains same i'm just going to make the changes to the attribute value attribute display value that is vendor name now save those changes you can click on save as and uh, save this file with a different name, whatever name you prefer. I'm going to save it on my desktop with the name as transmittal cover later modified. Now going back to the DM settings, I'm going to upload this modified cover later here. Click on upload, click on desktop and make sure that you choose a correctly modified cover later here. The progress bar shows it is getting uploaded. Now, there are two cover letters available in my project. I want to make this modified cover letter as default. So choose that one and click on set default from the upper menu. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.